Hey guys, my name is Silent Core, and welcome to my first Ace of Spades video. So for those of you who didn't already see the trailer I uploaded, I put my own commentary over the official trailer to just show you, introduce you guys to the game I guess. And I'm going to make four different videos going through each different class, so uh, right when you start up a map, you obviously choose your screen, so you got your blue or your green. And uh, both of these are exactly the same, so I'm just going to join green. And then you can choose your class, and you have four to choose from. So today I'm going to be going for the Marksman. I have tried all of these, and uh, i got to say I, I prefer the Marksman. It's a lot of fun uh, just because of the sniper rifle. I'm a huge fan of sniping in most games. I'm not amazing, but I do find it a lot of fun. Um, right now I find it a bit weird because you have a lot of options for your constructs and weapons, and you don't really have a lot to choose from. I don't know if Jagex are going to add new stuff as this game goes along. Or if, uh, yeah, I don't really know. But you do have an option between a flare block or a small platform. Uh, but basically, this is uh, just your builds. You can build stuff in the battlefield, build uh, constructs, and uh, build stuff up, which uh, I guess can come in pretty handy. So, uh, as for these, these are all sets. So you got your melee, uh, primary, secondary, and some equipment, which is a landmine. So I'm going to go ahead and click start. Let's take and uh, just as a note, you can change around some of your settings. I have changed my graphics settings, my draw distance down to medium. I think by default it's on high, uh, just so it doesn't, uh, just so it loads a bit faster. You get better frames per second. Because some people have said that they've had some issues with their FPS, which uh, hopefully will be smoothened out over the next few weeks. Because uh, this game has just been released. So let's have a look at some of the tools. So you can switch between your tools by using the scroll mouse on your wheel. Or alternatively, you can uh, when you see there's a numbers here, so one, two, three, four. You can hit that on your uh, keyboard for your number one key, number two key, number three key. And uh, your primary weapon is obviously your sniper rifle, and you can scope in with your right mouse button, and then hit the left mouse button to shoot with it. So um, it's not always a one-hit kill, but uh, if you go for those headshots, it's a really effective weapon. And uh, let's have a look at some of their stuff. So you have your blocks. Uh, by hitting the one key, you can uh, place these blocks. You can build little. Uh, constructs, you can hide yourself in a little window, I guess, and if you want to keep yourself pretty hidden, and uh, shoot through there. And uh, number two is the pickaxe, you can obviously uh, destroy things, uh, mine your way into places. Uh, it's not as f it's not a very fast weapon because, uh, I mean, this this class is made for primarily shooting, so uh, you're you're not going to be getting places very fast. If you want to mine, I'd <laughs> highly suggest going with the miner class. Uh, so let's take a look at some other stuff. We've got the pistol. Uh, again, you can scope in using the right mouse button. Uh, it's quite a weak weapon. You might have. I mean, it's, it's quite hard to kill people on a full clip, uh, especially when they're bouncing around and stuff. Uh, so, I'd really recommend just sticking with the the, sh the sniper rifle. And you also have some landmines you can place. And I'm not sure if it's a glitch, but your own teammates, including you, can also set up these landmines if you go back over them. Uh, it does. I don't know. Does it damage you when you go back over them? Yeah, it damages you. But if your teammates go over them, it doesn't damage your teammates, but it still sets them off. Um, I kind of wish they'd take that off because it is kind of annoying if your teammates go over them and it, it just ruins your landmines if you have them in entrances and stuff. But they are effective to use and uh, in just places that you you want to block off, especially on capture the flag kind of game modes as well. They're really really useful. So uh, at the end we have some of your constructs which we got to choose at the start, and I need to find an area to put some of these in. So I've got three different ones I can choose from, and you can stack these up on each other and make some interesting <laughs> some interesting shapes uh, that you can get over. And as a marksman you also have quite a high jump which is, you know, it's pretty effective for getting up places and you can uh, if I jump up in here so I can jump up in here and uh, also get up in some trees and get to some pretty good areas for sniping, it's pretty, it's pretty useful. So that was all the basics for the marksman class. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some clips of that I took in the real game of me using this class. Uh, and bear in mind, I'm not amazing at this game, I'm not amazing with the sniper rifle, but I was just having some fun. I was going to do a bit of a live stream when this game first came out, but I was having some crashing issues. I'm not sure if it's issues with the game or issues on my side, but the game seems to crash uh, occasionally for me, and I didn't really want to have that issue on live stream. And also, frames per second, I've been having some issues with that. I've heard other people are having that issue, so hopefully Jagex will look into that and help smoothen that out a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know what class you want me to see me do a review of next. Peace!
splits of skulls.